Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I briefly mentioned that I went ahead and I had bought two back protectors <laughs> since my crash. And some of you guys have reached out on Instagram asking what I bought and I want to go ahead and do a review. I'm going to do a review on the chest and back protector vest that I bought because I feel like that's a whole separate video. It's more heavy duty. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys the one that I wear every single day that is probably just honestly become one of my favorite purchases I've made in a long time in terms of bike gear. So when it came to a back protector, I wanted to get something that I would just always grab going out the door that I would never be like, eh, I'm not gonna wear it today. Something that I knew would force me to always wear one and always have my back protector. So I was doing a bunch of research and I found out that Pock actually makes a VPD air spine backpack protector and I was like man that's really the best of both worlds because I'm one of those people that I wear a hydration pack religiously. I never walk out the door without a hydration pack. So I was like, this could not be any more perfect for me. I'll, I will always be covered if I have this. So this is their eight liter pack right here. They have another one that's a little bit larger. So this pack has a built-in spine protector in the back. And it's kind of similar to some of the other protective gear that you'll see out there that's very moldable to your back. And that's one of the great things about this is it's so comfortable to wear. It's not bulky. It doesn't feel weird on your back. It's very, very comfortable. It forms to your back. And it's one of those things where upon impact it stiffens so it offers really great protection on your back another nice feature about this is say that you want to remove the back protector for whatever reason you are able to take that out the straps are extremely breathable which will be awesome in the summer months when it's really hot the backpack is very simple and that's what i love about it so you have a main compartment in here which you have a large pocket which you can just hold i have like band-aids and things like that just some a protein bar you also have two other pockets for miscellaneous items um and then I just have my hand up gloves in here as well as a water bottle. So it has another compartment in the back where you can add a bladder if you want. It holds up to a three liter bladder. I find myself during the winter months, I really don't drink too much when I'm riding. So I just have a water bottle that I keep in the pack and then also a water bottle on my bike that I use. And that pretty much gets me by for long rides. On the sides, you have two pretty spacious compartments where you can just put whatever. I like to put my phone right there because I can easily whip it over and just unzip and get my phone out if I need to reach for my phone. It also has the same pocket on the other side. So just really nice if you want to keep stuff that you might be reaching for often. I'm a fan of the straps that it has. So the straps you can adjust a little bit, you can raise or lower. Um, I know some people mentioned in reviews that they were unhappy that it didn't have a hip strap. And personally for me, I hate hip straps when I'm biking. Hate to have it on my hydration packs or anything like that. So I was very happy it wasn't on here and I found with this pack that it stays very, very secure to my back. I've never had it slide up or anything like that. So personally like not having it, but I know other people, they did make the comment. No, for hiking, that's a completely different story and I do want a hip strap at all times, but for biking, just not so much. So now let's get into the cons. I really only have two cons for this bag because I think Pock makes some really phenomenal products. Just everything that Pock does, I feel like is so well thought out, so well designed. I know I have a Pock jacket that is just it's just, you can tell it was made for bikers and it just, everything about it makes sense. So there's this compartment right here, which correct me if I'm wrong, I think I read somewhere that this is actually, that they called it a cell phone pocket. Guys, unless we're going back, you know, 12, 13 years, there's no way you're getting a cell phone inside this little pocket right here. So. I don't really know what you can fit in here. You almost can't fit a protein bar unless it's a really skinny protein bar. You know, you're kind of limited what you can fit in here. You know, maybe some keys, chapstick, I don't know, things like that. Maybe some bear spray if you want, um, but you really can't fit a whole lot in this pocket. So I guess they were just trying to make use of the space. Same with the other side. You just have a little pouch right here. I hate pouches. I'm never going to put anything in a pouch and I don't know what I would use this pouch for, but again, if I had to have cons, that would probably be my two cons because it's just like, what? My only other con I would say is the fact that this didn't come with a bladder and at $150, you know, it's kind of like, eh, a bladder should have been included in this. But again, not the end of the world. I went on Amazon and got one for like $13. But anyways, that's pretty much the POC back protector for you. I absolutely love it. And it's something I'm going to start using when I'm snowboarding and things like that, because it'll be perfect for that as well. But just an awesome bag. I wasn't in the market for another hydration pack, but as soon as I saw that they made packs with a built-in back protector, I was like, it's a done deal. I have to do that. It just makes sense. And it's something I know I'm not going to leave without because I'll always have my pack with me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.